Israel has passed its annual budget for the first time in three and a half years. The budget was approved by the eight-party coalition, which is led by Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, preventing the country from its fifth election in three years. The Knesset is now deliberating on the 2022 budget. Israel Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said, and I quote, a holiday for the state of Israel. After years of chaos, we have formed a new government. We overcame the Delta, and now, God willing, we have transferred a budget to Israel. Continue for it with all your might. The eight-party coalition led by Bennett had time until November the 14th to pass the budget. It secured pre-approval in September and was scrutinized by parliamentary committees. The legislature voted 61 against 59 in favor of the 2021 budget. שנים של ארבע מערכות בחירות, אחת אחר השנייה, עם מבוי סתום, הקשבנו לקולם של אזרחי ישראל. The passage was a complicated process. The coalition consisting of right-wing, left-wing and centrist parties, even including an Islamist faction, went past ideologies. The coalition needed all their members to attend and vote for the bill to push them to the majority of 61 votes in their 120-seat Knesset. Only one part of the budget for this year has been approved. The members will reconvene later to discuss the budget for the next year. The government plans nearly 10 billion US dollars in funding over the next five years to improve social economic conditions for Israel's Arab minority, while hiking some taxes for the ultra Orthodox Jews. Former Prime Minister and opposition leader Benjamin Netanyahu accused Bennett for leading a government of liars. It was a budget deadlock that sank the last short lived coalition led by Netanyahu. Lord, she Bennett. ולפיד וליברמן, לא רק שהם לא הורידו מיסים, הממשלה שלהם מעלה מיסים. אנחנו נמשיך להיאבק בממשלה הרעה הזאת, אנחנו נהפוך כל אבן, נחפש כל דרך כדי להפיל אותה, כדי להחזיר את מדינת ישראל למסלול הנכון, ובעזרת השם נצליח, כי אל מול השקר סופה של האמת לנצח. תודה רבה. Meanwhile, Israel's Foreign Minister Yair Lapid termed the passage as a joint victory, saying that one side's win does not mean that the other lost. A prolonged political stalemate in Israel had meant that no budget had been approved in the legislature for around three and a half years. The country has been running with a pro-rated version of the 2019 budget, something economists say is hindering growth. For more on this story, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from Jerusalem. Several hundred votes have already been won by the coalition, with hundreds more amendments being debated on Thursday. Bennett predicted that the coalition would win all 780 votes and that the outcome, rather than another election, would see a strengthening of the government. The 2022 budget doesn't pose an immediate threat of early elections, but must pass by the end of March 2022. Bennett also predicted that the Likud party would replace Benjamin Netanyahu. It remains to be seen if his predictions will come true. This is Jody Cohn for Weon, World is One.